The guys over from Speed Gems are coming today to scan the engine. They have a 3D scanner and we're gonna make a 3D model so that way we can start building our adapter plate for the Nissan 350Z transmission right there. So we're gonna adapt a 350Z transmission to this Maserati M139 4.2 V8. Um, as you can see, I did take the intake uh, off uh, just so it makes it a little bit easier to work with while it's you know being scanned. Uh, the flywheel is right there. So we'll scan this flywheel area and then create a 3D model of this engine so that way we can kind of work with it digitally and then we can figure out, you know, what needs to go where. Now, the intake, um, we can either use the OEM one, we can create our own, or use from a, uh, or use a Ferrari um, intake manifold. So there's a couple options. The problem's gonna be with the wiring. So that's what we're trying to figure out right now, or at least that's what I'm trying to figure out right now is how we're gonna wire this thing. Um, I'm gonna try to start mocking it up in the engine bay. I'm gonna clear some more stuff in there and let's see how it actually fits in there. But yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty exciting stuff. Here is the Nissan 350Z transmission. This is the CD009 or it's, it's basically the same as the 03 to 05, except I think it has some better internals, but um, same exact, they look exactly the same. And this one's actually from a Nice, from a Infiniti G35. Uh, so they share that transmission. So we're gonna adapt this to that. This is a six speed. So you got first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then down to right and back. That's your reverse. So. Yeah, this will fit there. Um, it's about dimension wise, it's about the same as the RX-8. I think the shifter is a little bit, uh, I don't think the shifter lines up properly, but we can adjust this so we can cut this and re, you know, move it wherever we need to. So yeah, the guys should show up any minute now and then we'll uh, get started on the scanning process. So like the first scan, 121 frames. Second scan, almost 300. More frames of it, I assume. Yeah, you would think so until um. Could get a little out of proportion. Cause remember, it gets out of tolerance. So every time, if you loop around, it won't line up exactly on the surface. Mm -hmm. um, they all like smooth out. So I'll, I'll just take this uh, screw that's out here. I add a cylinder. Now, now we have a one with the radius. And then uh, so basically, it will do like a best fit. So anything. Um, green is like indented into the screw anything not green is like the thing outwards so it just takes the average of it around the circle this bell housing is a little bit bigger than what the scanner would take although if you could scan almost anything it will um uncalibrate itself by accident just because it's the way how it works so if i was to start here straight center make all myself away here it will be off just just a hair but it's not to notice make it a whole bigger I'll put these markers down to reorient itself. So you can kind of see that that's what the tack is. But because of the light and how it's angled, it's not going to get everything. It's not going to get all the tack because it's shadow, I'm sure. Okay, so we have the flywheel and the pressure plate off, the two exhaust uh, manifolds. We're gonna try to do a flange. We're gonna create flanges from these here. So that way we can build our own exhaust headers. Um, so we're gonna scan these tomorrow. And then the engine's pretty bare right now. We're gonna have to create our own custom engine mounts to make it fit in the RX-8. But uh, other than that, we have the scans completed for the engine as well as for the transmission. Again, this is a Nissan uh, 350Z or Infiniti G35 six-speed manual transmission, uh, CD009, um, also CD001 works. Uh, basically any manual transmissions from the 350Z or G35 from 03 to 07 will work 
the same uh, bolt pattern. This is what the flywheel situation looks like. Right here, these teeth on the back of the flywheel need to stay exactly where they are because of this sensor here. So this sensor, as you can see, basically reads the rotation of the flywheel. Because the adapter plate is, you know, half inch, three quarter inch thick, we also want to move the flywheel out, but we won't be able to do that because we have to keep these, uh, these teeth in line with the sensor. So we'll have to do some brainstorming and figure out the solution there. While the guys are here, we're going to try scanning a couple more things. We'll do a body scan of the MR2 uh, for the fender flares, see if we can make something out of that. Maybe like a little model kit or something like that. And then as well as the Ford Raptor, um, you know, engine mounts here and there. We'll see. But um, productive day. More tomorrow. Over from Speed Gems are coming to now scan the rest of the parts, which is going to be the exhaust headers. We're going to try to make a flange out of them, and as well as the um, MR2, get a body image of it, and maybe even the, the Raptor. So we'll see what else we can scan while they're here, you know, to make uh, the best use of their time. But yeah, let's uh, let's get started. Uh, we have Osmar, um, who will be kind of leading the scans here, and um, let's see what that looks like. So, how this works, it goes off of a uh, light and a picture. And if the light reflects back, it screws up the picture. So, if I put masking tape, it's a little bit dull color surface. Should, in theory, work out a lot better to pick up surfaces. Like that. Because before, uh, I didn't think it would be too shiny, but I guess it was. Where the bolts would reflect and not create a nice circle. Started off with this, uh, turned it STL, imported it into Space Claim, uh, added a plane. I roughly uh, made it even off the uh, flat surface here. And then I use a special tool called Track Features or Curves. Now you can barely see it here, but here are the holes. Now, it does not look perfect. I will admit that. So, we can just fix them. That's why I was asking if all these things were uh, uniform. So yep. that way I can get a nice like diameter. If it's right, it's right. If it's not, then yeah, change it. But I can do that for all these holes here. I can get that. Okay. I think the exhaust flame is gonna be the easiest to replicate. Yeah. By all. But I mean, why not scan the whole thing while I'm here? <laughs> so <clears throat> I am just putting these stickers on here. So when I start scanning, uh, should I ever lose? where my, I'm tracking, I can use these points as reference points. I could have used some uh, like Play-Doh kind of thing, but I think these stickers will be fine as long as I mark them individually and there's multi-colors of them. 